the the ele the elements of um, red, blue, uh, green, yellow, you know, is very simple, but very clear. V9 is um, it's a project set up by Jamie Vardy, and he wanted to create a, a program that non-league players could attend and give them an opportunity to impress coaches and maybe make a difference to their lives in terms of getting a deal with a league club. But even if not that, that they have an amazing week and experience what it's like to be a top level footballer. Getting insights involved, I mean, we did it with, um, with England. It was, it was quite interesting to, to see exactly what kind of person you are and what is it. And it was, it was really surprising how, how accurate it was. I just think that anything that gives you an extra percent in a competitive sport is very, very important and I think there's no doubt that that can do because it gets you to know yourself a little bit more and maybe gets you to understand your teammates a lot more. And every edge you can get over somebody else, it's, it's an advantage for you and, and your team and other people that you can help out. Understanding your strengths also gives you a competitive advantage because most of the time we work on our weaknesses and, uh, and it's not your weaknesses that actually get you to where you are, it's, it's, it's your strengths that get you to where, to where you need to be. I think when you're having a bad day, normally your weaknesses are coming out in you. If you can manage those and kind of help put something in place to, to not let them get out of control, that's the biggest thing. If I'd have had this 10 years ago, I'd have probably been a better player. And I, I know I'd probably be a better coach than this. So it might mean in certain situations, knowing who I am, sitting back and reflecting before I go in and start pointing fingers at people. I mean, football is a game of relationships. You know, it's a team sport and you see any great team um, gel well together, they play well together. You know, they have a respect amongst their teammates and a way of working that is you know, fundamental for their success. With the coaches buying into that and the coaches seeing the benefits of it, um, I think that's proof in itself and evidence in itself that this is a necessary factor that can can contribute to team success at the highest level. It makes you find out the little things that, that wind people up, but obviously get people going as well, which is obviously going to benefit you all the time. The one thing we've, we've said this week to the lads is to be selfish in terms of going away from this process a better player. But after last night, you know, the advice would probably be go away from it a better person as well.